Sam, it is uh, hopefully not going to be difficult for them or any of the other flights to get off the ground with this uh, rain out there. Hopefully right. that's not a problem. Yeah, we'll see what happens at Ali International. I know we're dealing with the storm right overhead in downtown right now. It should be clearing us probably the next 20 minutes in Metro Louisville. But I do want to bring it towards Washington, D.C., where if you do have a veteran on that flight, the forecast overall calls for a lot of low hanging clouds today. A spotty shower or two cannot be ruled out. It's going to be pretty humid, too, and temperatures in D.C. today should be in the 60s for a lot of the veterans on the honor flight. Here's actually a closer look at our localized radar and we're dealing with a good band of showers and thunderstorms to get your morning started. Uh, the heavier storms have been pocketed right on the east end of Louisville as of the past couple of minutes and uh, there's been a lot of lightning with these cells as they've been drifting the way much uh, into Oldham County and far eastern or far western Shelby County pretty soon. But on the east end from Anchorage all the way down towards Fern Creek, Jefferson Town, even towards uh, much of Westport, Westport Road, really dealing with some very heavy rainfall as that uh, storm continues to march its way east of Louisville. We're also dealing with some additional pockets of thunderstorms right over Radcliffe, the Fort Knox, Elizabethtown, Hodgenville included in much of southern Nelson County. So again, we're going to continue to watch all these thunderstorms throughout the course of the morning. We have one more little band to be talking about right over Carrollton and Pendleton. That storm uh, bumping into the southwestern counties of Cincinnati's viewing area here very soon. So an all day event of the weather impact alert day is issued today. Uh, we're going to be tracking some heavy thunderstorms, likely producing some very heavy rainfall with them. Make sure you do slow down with travel today and make sure you have plenty of rain gear packed with you, especially that umbrella. Probably a good idea. Here's actually a live look at that crash underway. I'll be talking more about that Kennedy Bridge just south of it on 65 South in a few more minutes. But you can see a lot of emergency vehicles are on the scene there. We do temperatures sitting in the 70s and of course dealing with some very heavy rainfall in the city. A current look at our temperatures. We're also dealing with some upper 60s along the parkways from Bardstown towards Elizabethtown and Shepherdsville at 68, getting your morning rolling. So later today, we're going to be positioned in the mid 60s outside of Louisville and likely striking 79 in Louisville for the high temperature. It'll be one of those days where it's going to be staying mostly cloudy throughout much of the day. There could be a couple of pockets of sunshine around midday, and that may re energize the atmosphere for some additional thunderstorms. And as these storms do reorganize later, Later on this afternoon, I do want to mention one or two of them could be producing some severe weather with them. Notice by about 4 p.m. some additional storms off to the east. The overall severe weather risk today will be found to the east, so I do think east of Interstate 65, that'll be that main concern for one or two storms producing 50 to 60 mile an hour wind. Now before I show you the seven day forecast, this will be the reason why it will be rainy here on Friday. We're watching tropical cyclone at nine and a lot of the spaghetti model plots do bring the track of it into the Ohio Valley, likely approaching our area on Friday. And of course, it'll be a pretty weak storm system, but we are going to be watching bouts of heavy rainfall at times Friday into the weekend ahead.